Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 vlog here today. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this week's update, which is the final bank placeholders update. Finally, this has come out after so much waiting and years of, of people, you know, thinking it was pretty much never coming. Um, I'm back now. Thankfully, after my break, I had to go home for a wedding, like I said, and I haven't been back since Wednesday night. So it's nice to come back to this new update, and I'm looking forward to getting back into playing on the hardcore and stuff. But I am here on my main to show off the bank update, and I'm pretty much just going to go through all the main new features, although I'm sure a lot of you either did play the beta or have a pretty good idea of the things that were coming with these changes. There might be a couple things you might have missed out or not noticed in your uh, you know review of them, but... Anyways, uh, before I jump into my bank to show off the changes, I do want to mention that one thing that I think that they really did well, or at least it was a smart thing to do, they actually did a full server backup for before this update. So thankfully they are, you know, at least aware that they could have broken the entire game and they actually did a full backup of all the game stuff beforehand. Um, and I just don't understand how, if it does, if it's, maybe it is harder than they made it sound. They made it sound like it was a pretty easy thing for them to do, but I don't understand why they don't just do that with most major updates, like, of this sort of size, um, for in case things go horribly wrong. But, um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the bank now, and you'll obviously see it's much different right off the bat. Um, if you never saw the beta or anything, then this is what it looks like. I personally like the old background color of the bank, but that's probably my only criticism of the new design and layout. Uh, other than that, it's mostly pretty good. And you guys can obviously see my tabs are now vertical, and I've done this just because I really just want to get used to it. It's, it's going to be annoying or different at first, but I really uh, want to get used to it this way, and I'd recommend you do as well because... Uh, one of the big things that has come is you can now have up to 15 bank tabs and if you have them vertically or horizontally I'll show you now um, if you have all of the bank tabs unless you make your bank much larger you're not going to be able to fit everything in the um, in the single row like you'll have to scroll there's little arrows that show up and you can scroll and uh, one thing that's nice is you can now change your bank size from in here and you can actually make it as wide as you want which you couldn't do before so um, you can do something like this which looks absolutely <laughs> insane um, to have and I don't know some people might like this but I definitely would not because I don't know, I'm used to the way the size of the bank prior to this and also like I don't know, it's just too much on the screen at once for me to get a grip on it all. Like, if you could zoom it in or something, that would make it better. And this is the tab I use for reference um, to see if I've got everything lined up correctly. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this is what, yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, so, yeah, if you do switch your tabs to be on the vertical side, you will have to change your bank size a little bit because as you can see th this messes it up now because they're on horizontal but when you put them on vertical it doesn't change the size of your window but it does shift the size of the actual bank area a little bit so you'll have to make your bank a little bit or bigger for this but I'd recommend doing this if you're not going like whole massive bank size just so you can fit all your tabs on the screen if you're going to be utilizing the extra tabs that are available um, so that's one thing that's obviously noticeably different and then we have all the things that are now available in the bank screen here just a consolidated version from before the update they have the presets here much bigger buttons and easier to access and you can also use the F keys for um, for the presets which is nice previously you had to press control which was annoying and um, as far as presets go, there's some pretty nice changes to them as well. The overall uh, interface of them are, is a bit nicer, and um, well, I guess I'd rather do it with something like a bruise. Um, one thing you can do, which they do highlight pretty uh, apparently on the update post, is you can drag and drop um, stuff. Let me try and do a 
thing that I don't care about that much, like this one. You can drag and drop stuff from your either your inventory, your current worn equipment. You can drag and drop it, and it instantly will update that preset with that new item in the place. So that's a very, very nice and, and beneficial change, and I really like that. They've also optimized the bank a whole ton. So you'll see, watch, I'll scroll this down extremely quick. You saw, you can see, you can scroll it extremely quick. No item loading or anything like that. It's just immediately there, which is very nice. That was something that was annoying with the old bank is as you scroll, things would kind of pop in slowly and, and be a bit of an annoyance. So that's a very nice thing. They've all just made the, the bank overall a very... Uh, like a lot of a smoother experience and, and optimized it a whole lot just the, the underlying code stuff that you might not see visually very very nice to have that um, presets also have some other things that were updated including if you have a preset like I do with potions on if I don't have any serodomin brew six doses it will try to withdraw a five dose one or like it'll try to draw a lower dose if you're you know if you don't have the full dose which is good and bad I can I, I can definitely appreciate it for something like overloads um, you know having a five versus a six dose won't really affect you in most cases um, but some of the time you'd kinda want to rather know that you're getting less of you like you don't want to go into a telos high and rage streaking kill with not full of doses of your bruise and stuff so kind of a good and bad in my eyes although i can definitely see the merits of it in some cases um we'll just have to you know keep a better eye out uh, when you're withdrawing things they can also do uh scrimshaw for scrimshaws if you have one on there it'll try to get the used version but can also pull the new one if there is no used one available um, and other than that, they also make it so that urns will come out regardless. Like if it, it'll try and find a one that's already started, but if it can't find it, it'll get the new ones. And then there's also silver jewelry will always withdraw compacted versions. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot else in here. I, they say here that augmentation presets will now know which augmented weapons and armor to take out which is interesting. I think that means if they have differing perks on them, like if you have a flanking switch on an Imperium core versus a different Imperium core, it will now know that it should take out, you know, the one that doesn't have the switch as your main weapon and then the one with the switch, you know, in your inventory. I think that's what that means, but it says you have to resave your presets to get that to work, which is uh, strange, but that's a good thing as well and then I already mentioned the F keys being possible um, and you can also only load portions of the preset from within here I think just by clicking oh yeah that toggles what you want to load um, but yeah you can also load only the backpack or the armor or the beast of burden which is nice as well uh, unfortunately we knew this already but there's still only one beast of burden preset which is definitely annoying um, but I get yeah there's there's just nothing changed with that um, other than that as far as the tabs go like I said there's now it is now possible to have up to uh, how many was it 15 bank tabs and I have not yet done any organization on my bank as of this update I plan on doing so in the near future um, for mainly for this this main uh, tab is the one that needs the most organizing. My loot tab is already pretty good, uh, you know, until you get to the bottom where all the new garbage is that I have just been throwing in here, like the salvage and stuff. But the top of it is fine. And then um, pots is good. Teleports is okay. My skilling tab I haven't used in a long, long time, um, but that could probably use a bit of an organization on it. Um, and then I've just got like random treasure hunter garbage. Clue scrolls tab is looking fresh as always. And then the junk tab and my strange rocks tab. Um, I might make a another tab or so. I'm not too sure exactly what I want to do yet. Um, but I'll have to go through and do a big organization thing on my bank um, with these new tabs. Also you're allowed to customize the tabs a little bit more. You can right click customize on any tab and this allows you to choose an icon for it among a list. Pretty much all the skills are here. The actual, you know, skill icon, I guess is what that is. And then the quest icon, clue icon, or, or a cash stack, which kind of looks ugly. But you can have one of those set. Um, I don't like them a whole lot. 
um, but for some things it might be nice I have I put it on my hardcore I put a farming one there for my farming stuff because the the seed that was there didn't look that great um, and then I think I like the clue scroll one as well is, is a nice one to have um, and then you can also choose a name and I think these are all the same as the preset names there's some noticeably absent ones like skilling um, and stuff like that that you might want to have but they're not in there I don't know why that you can't just type in a name that you want for these types of things like the presets and the tabs but for some reason that's not an option um, but yeah those are all the same as the preset names and then you can they've added a couple of th these three new ones at the bottom um, but when you change it to something um, it will basically just show up as tab to dash the name that you made it uh, so it doesn't really make a huge difference I think it'll show up um, as like in your searches which is nice if you like hover over it oh no it doesn't even show up in your searches so the naming is very you know not that useful I don't think um, unless there's a way to search within tabs only by using their name I don't know but yeah that's definitely a nice thing you can make them a vertical uh, slide which is obviously very very nice they one thing that's very important and improved is the bank space number previously it was like several numbers made no sense now it's just one consolidated number they also increased the bank size uh, by 49 for everybody just to make the total number a bit rounded out at 1320 which is nicer um, the search is also more smooth and, and easy to use uh, other than that they have added a bunch of new filters this was something that was added to the game quite a while back um, I don't really remember when exactly it came out but they weren't that useful really um, it didn't really do a whole lot of good stuff uh, for you like there weren't a whole lot of useful filters but they've made a couple of additions and also they're much more useful in general like the cleanup one allows you to instantly destroy stuff just by you know giving it a click um, some of these things obviously you wouldn't want to destroy um, but like something like that you might want to and these things are at the quest caravan and uh, just in general they have some pretty good filters members items non-member items worn equipment by the slot of course we have all of these uh, previously tradable non-tradable um, but yeah this, I think these were actually added last year at some point um, but you can definitely make better use of them nowadays and kind of get things that you want more quickly if this is the way you want to find them if you don't want to search which you know is up to you I guess um, but yeah it's definitely nice to see how they have expanded upon the existing idea of the filters and hopefully they'll add more detailed ones in the future I would say would be nice um, also they've added placeholders of course that is probably one of the main focuses of the update so now if you withdraw things as long as you have this down here uh, checked off when you withdraw something it will leave behind a placeholder for it which will be obviously where it will go if you deposit it once again into the bank and uh, you can with remove them just by clicking them there or obviously uncheck the box down here and this does work with presets of course so presets will always leave a placeholder so I'll withdraw all my gear down here and you can see it is all placeholder down there and you might have noticed when I deposited earlier but the deposit functionality is much more fat, fast and responsive like if I click this it's like instantly all in there and then same with this like I can click it and then close the bank instantly and all my stuff will already be in the bank so it is very very nice and more responsive those deposit features and of course the placeholders are amazing uh, that's what we've basically been wanting as the main focus of this whole update so you can now organize your bank uh, much more nicely and not have to worry about getting screwed around when you're doing something um, also if you don't have placeholders on the bank also with when you're withdrawing stuff now works similarly to old school where if I withdraw like this cape the slot is still there <laughs> and you can actually examine it and if I deposit the cape back it will go there even though there wasn't a placeholder there and I can like switch items around so if I withdraw these two items and then withdraw the greaves they'll go in there so it's basically how the old school bank works and you but the only downside to this is you can no longer like spam click to withdraw a bunch of things um, and the reason they made it that way I think is because it was having some sort of issues with people withdrawing items that weren't even in the tab or like were, were the wrong items that weren't in that order 
Um, and I like this for, you know, I, I don't dislike it or like it, I guess, really. It's just kind of a neutral thing. It's it's good to have for certain things, but it's also annoying for spam withdrawing. So it'll be a thing to get used to, but it's it's uh, something they wanted to change, and I think it's, you know, good that they did it and it works well and it's easy to, you know, you know, it's already in old school, so it's going to be easy for people to, you know, adjust to, I think. But that's a nice thing that was also changed. They've also added this little section down here, which allows you to set how much of an item that you want to withdraw with a left click. This is also something that's already in old school, but basically you can set it to 5, 10, all, or a custom value. And then if I'm, you know, doing something, I can just left click 10 sailfish, just like that. Or, you know however you want to do it and this isn't you know as useful on this game because of course we have presets so you wouldn't want to be using this for something like skilling but still it's nice to have as an option and definitely you know worth having and uh, yeah just in general the bank is much more responsive we have faster deposits and but it's better organized and much more customizable with the tabs more tabs to, that you can use and you know, obviously it's a great update. As far as I've seen on Reddit, although I haven't looked quite recently, you know, quite as recently, uh, there weren't any massive bugs with it. And of course, this was um, <clears throat> this was obviously helped by the several betas that were run for this update. And I think it's good that they did that. They should definitely continue to do that in the future with large updates, as, as have betas and, and allow us to test it and provide our feedback before they do come out but yeah there's not too much else that I wanted to cover with this I just wanted to go over all the features that were changed and added with the bank update um, overall like I said pretty much everything that we wanted from it I can't think of anything that was really missing um, just a really great update overall and uh, the only thing that I don't like about it like I said is I did kind of like the um, you know, it, it still exists, you know, right here and also on the left here. This, you know, the, the, it's, it's the same color as most of the other interfaces in the game. I kind of like that as the background for the bank. Um, so I'm not sure exactly why they changed that uh, to this sort of single, you know, solid color. Um, but it'll just take some adjusting and getting used to uh, in general. But I just preferred the old color uh, but either way everything else very very nice to see and and appreciating you know all these changes um, but yeah there weren't anything else in like there weren't any regular patch notes alongside this as far as I could tell the only thing that they listed in the patch notes were all the bank updates so yeah that is just about everything I think that there was to mention um, but I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this update. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. Was there anything that you were hoping for that didn't get added or, you know, anything like that? And have you taken the time to go through and organize your entire bank yet to be in line with the new way of things? Or, you know, are you saving that daunting task for later? I'm definitely going to be doing it soon and hopefully it will be, you know, not to not take me too much time. Um, but yeah, as for the future, I will obviously have my Hardcore Iron Man episode out this weekend. Um, I should have a decent amount of time to play this week now that I am back from the wedding. And also, of course, this weekend is RuneFest. So I will be making several videos to cover whatever they talk about. Um, one thing that I did want to mention before the end of this video, um, they did announce that there will be a new skill revealed at RuneFest. And I've said multiple times this year I was hoping to see a new skill announced at RuneFest and it looks like we are going to be having that. So I'm looking forward to seeing the details on it. Looks like most people are thinking it's going to be something like archaeology. Um, I would like to see, I don't know, I, I definitely would like to see something like necromancy in the future. They hinted at something like that being like maybe an elite skill with summoning magic and prayer. But most people are thinking archaeology with some sort of combination of crafting, construction maybe, and I don't really know, slayer, maybe mining. Um, I don't really know how I feel about elite skills in general. Um, invention kind of made sense as one, um, but I don't really know. I, I didn't really like the altered XP curve, uh, just personally. 
Uh, but we'll have to see if they decide to go with that or a regular skill. Again, I will definitely be making several videos to talk about all the reveals, um, but just wanted to mention that if you missed it, they are having a new skill announced, and I'm looking forward to all the reveals. So, yeah, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments on this update and what you're looking forward to seeing from RuneFest, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.